Hey guys, Max here. I'm back after a nice winter vacation. So, let's get started. Today we're going to be going over some accent expressions for After Effects that you can use in all of your videos, all of your animations. They look cool, they're quick, they're really snazzy, and they add a little extra zing to your workflow. So let's get started. So I'm just going to jump right into After Effects. And first off the bat, um, we'll just create a new composition. It doesn't matter if what you created in. It could be for something already made just to add more, you know, zing to your work. So 1920 by 1080 at 60 frames a second. Um, duration 5 seconds with a black background. Cool with me. Comp 1, no big deal. Click OK. So what we'll do is immediately jump up here to the ellipse tool and drag out a, you know, nice ellipse. Doesn't matter what color it is. We'll move it over some for no reason at all. <laughs> what we'll do quickly on this ellipse is click it, click Command Shift N, which is the shortcut shortcut tr to create a mask around the ellipse or any object you use. Just a cool shortcut. What we'll do is drop down the tags on the mask. First off, click the shape thing right here to change this to an ellipse. Reset to ellipse. Click OK. Now this resets the mask to an ellipse instead of a square around it, which is really awesome. Then what we're going to do is scroll forward in our timeline around 30 frames to make it nice and quick, and we will set our mask expansion. We'll click the hourglass to set a keyframe, go back in time, and subtract our mask to make it go away. So that's your mask expansion been subtracted. We'll right click a keyframe, ease out, right click this keyframe, ease in. Then jump to the middle of this, click the graph editor, make sure your graph editor is set to speed graph so it looks like this. And we'll add some, you know, movement to this. Um, so play it, drag this comp back so we can actually see what's going on. Play it, it looks like that. Pretty cool. So what we'll do now is click on this mask, click Command D to duplicate it, drop it down, actually move this over a little bit, jump to this keyframe, and actually expand the mask a little bit just by a couple pixels, and then we'll click it from Add to Subtract. So there's a hole inside, and voila. just like that. And what you can do really fast is just duplicate the hell out of these things and uh, move them all over the place. Click U on our keyboard to see our keyframes. If we know this, these will be right here. Move this one over here. Grab it and actually move it. Change the fill to another snazzy color. Click T on your keyboard. Make it a little less bright. Let's Duplicate both these layers and grab layer three, move it over. Let's scale it up some. Put it over here. I just make it smaller actually. A lot smaller. Change the fill to that color. Grab layer four, move it over right here. Let's drag it to the bottom of our composition. Um, make it a, I don't know, purple. Let's do purple. Nope, nope. Let's do yellow. Let's make it a little smaller. No, not the mask. I'm going to actually scale it down. Click S to scale it down. Click T to make it bright again. And boom. Click U on our keyboard. And click play. And you got all these crazy looking things you can move around. And one more cool trick you can do with any of these. Let's click the shape layer one, click both these masks, click command D to duplicate them, drag number three down under number four, show the keyframes with U, and actually drag these out in front of this. So it's like a double. Play it, and boom. Look at that. Quick accents for your videos. You can do this with rectangle squares, all kinds of stuff, make them rotate later. All kinds of weird things. Real quick and easy and around five minutes. So thanks, guys. 
I'm Max. Please like and subscribe. I'll be releasing videos every week and soon. Actual equipment reviews and tech and stuff. So that should be pretty cool. So leave a comment, like, and subscribe. I really appreciate everyone being here for me. I have over 100 subscribers now, which is really exciting. But overall, thanks again. Until next time, peace. Thank you.